Dean, it's obviously been quite a quick turnaround uh, since our match on Tuesday night. How how the lads fared over the last few days? Yeah, healthily. Um, so far, so good. Uh, tomorrow, I've got a few selection dilemmas and headaches. Um, the only uh, the only players out tomorrow, which is nice to say, is Keen Flanagan, who had his injection on Wednesday. And we'll see how he comes out of that over the next few days. And Josh Payne, who's suspended. So it's nice to have the majority of the squad back. And uh, we're really looking forward to the game. So just a bit of our own beating in the last 11 uh, league games. What, what sort of match are you expecting? Uh, they've got a winner mentality. They've got what we're searching for and trying to create. Um, obviously, the most potent threat is the centre forward. I think he's got 18 goals in 20 games. games so he's flying. Um, but they've got two good number 10s behind them in Khan and Mandeville. Mandeville's clever. Khan's got a lot of athleticism. Uh, both wing backs fly forward. Good experience at the back with Gav Gunnan, good organiser. Uh, Quartz Weston, obviously, air support is now coached really well. Another experienced player. So they've got a lot of good players. They've got a big squad. I think they've got six strikers on the books. So, um, But they've done a great job there, to be honest with you. They're in, right in the title race. An amazing cup run. And they obviously, what a fantastic day they had last week. So, respect the opposition. Um, but like every team, they have got weaknesses, and we've got to make sure we, we try to penetrate their weaknesses. And we have weaknesses too. No doubt they'll be trying to do the same thing. But I think it'll be a really good game. Uh, a bit like last week, I thought it was a good game to be fair against Aldrin. We didn't perform as well as we'd like to. But I think it'll be a really good game and a, a contrast in styles at different times. As, as you mentioned there, obviously, Chester will probably be, probably be coming here in, in high spirits having scored at Stamford Bridge last weekend. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, they should be. They're buzzing. They're flying. Did you say they're unbeaten in eleven? Um, you know, they're in the title race, and there's probably. I look at the division. There's probably seven or eight teams in the title race. You know, Dagenham have just picked up ten points in the last four games. All of a sudden, they're right up there. Um, Halifax are flying. They've managed to stretch the lead, even though Chesterfield the games in hand. And uh, and we've done okay, to be honest with you. In the last sort of twelve, fourteen games, we've done well as well. Our points per game solid. Um, not title winning form, but it's solid. So. Um, like I say, it's a good test for our players to see how far we've come in a short space of time. There are a few changes to our team on Tuesday night against Ashford. Uh, what sort of team could, can the Bees fans expect to see uh, um, without obviously giving up, giving away too much? A much stronger team, to be totally honest with you. Um, like front's back, Powley's back. You know, we've got good dynamics now on the front line. We've got we've got power and pace back again. So which every team needs, and my teams always have power and pace. So I always looked at a sort of a fourth part of call for me. Um, We've got good, some good stability in midfield. We've got good options of playing in, in our fullback areas. So, yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Um, and the players are looking forward to the game. There was a nice buzz around the camp, you know, the last couple of days. Um, so hopefully we can penetrate the game plan and be on the right end of the, the result. Right, now, obviously, in, in January, are we looking to, to strengthen our, our squad in any uh, particular areas? We're always looking to strengthen. We're always looking to upgrade. Um, that's a major test for any manager. We're in the players and the squad because... You know, if I'm a player in the changing room, which I have been, and we bring in a player that's not better than what we've got already, the players are going to ask questions of me. So when we bring the players in, we look to upgrade all the time uh, in different areas and make sure we improve. So, you know, that's, that's the hardest part of the business, but it's the key to the business. You have to sign good players, and recruitment's the key to the business of bringing them success. And um, We're always trying to improve and always looking and searching. Sometimes deals have fell through. We've had two fall through this week, actually, to be totally honest with you. Um, They've both fell through right at the last minute, but that's the business. Until the sign sale and delivered, it's never done. So we'll keep searching, and it's a busy month, a really busy month, especially for the uh, football league clubs, because they've got a window. So we're going to be patient and make sure we bring the, uh, the right players into the football club. You, you mentioned that we've got a few, a few uh, more big games coming up after Chesterfield. How, how important is that we hit form at the right time and, and uh, can, can uh, get the best out of, out of these next few games? We've just got to take it one game at a time, you know. Um, it tough, it's a tough month for us, but there's no easy games in the division. You know, people probably thought we just walk all over Aldringham last week, but if you look at Aldringham, they're a good side. I think they're averaging two thousand six hundred fans, and their home games we don't average that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, and we we have amazing facilities. They might not have the facilities we have, but you know they've got good resources as well. So obviously Chesterfield, you know, realistically are a football league club, but they've got to prove that and get back to that, and they've got major tests. I think they've got twenty four games left. We've 23 games left. Let's see where it takes us, both, both clubs. Um, yeah, form is important, definitely. Um, but we've done all right, to be fair to us. We've come a long way, like I say, in a short space of time. 
the, the, the club are offering all uh, Barnet season ticket holders uh, to the chance to bring a fr- friend for free. How, how important do you feel that the fans can be in, in a fixture like this coming uh, Saturday? Yeah, I think it's a great gesture from a football club, and it's important we start to fill our stadium. Um, we've got to make sure we keep performing on the pitch, and the more games we win, the more supporters that come to the door. I'm afraid that in this business, unless you win football matches, you know people want to be entertained. Um, they won't come through your gate but it's a great incentive by the football club um, and hopefully we can fill it at the end I know Chesterfield are bringing a lot of supporters they're a big football club and they're flying at the minute let's be honest they're absolutely flying uh, the management team have done a great job there so we're hoping it'll be a good clash and, and uh, we can bring some uh, as many supporters as possible